Hello everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. My name is Tim, and in this part, we are going to be playing as a new character called Eve, which is actually a character that's kind of looked down upon in the Binding of Isaac community, but let's give her a try anyways. So, Eve has a really, really weird gimmick. Um, there's a seed, by the way, and she starts out with an item called Dead Bird, and Whore of Babylon. And dead bird, whenever you get hit, a dead bird familiar will spawn and will go after enemies dealing damage to them. And Whore of Babylon, you have to get down to one one red heart to uh, activate it. And when it activates, you get more speed, you get a lot more power, and it's just... It's great. It's a great item to have. But Eve starts out with two hearts. So you have to get hurt twice in order to get into the Whore of Babylon state. It's She's kind of a difficult char to character to play as because she relies on having low red hearts, a lot of spirit hearts, and basically her style of play is to just get deal, deal with the devils and, you know, that's that. So it's a little bit difficult to get otherwise, you know, get other things otherwise. Nonetheless, um, I will be playing as her, and we are hopefully going to do a good job with this, because, like I've been saying, she's she can be difficult to play as. Um, so starting out here, uh, I do think I am going to hurt myself twice to get down to one red heart. We don't have to worry about ruining our deal with the devil chances, because, you know, that really only happens on the second floor and lower. Um... So that's a thing, but otherwise, yeah, I, th I think I do want to uh, go into the Horror of Babylon state just so I can get that increased firepower, because you never know. Alright, the world card, yeah, I'll use it, I don't even care. I mean, I probably, oh yeah, Curse Room, that's a that's a great place to, uh, to get our damage dealt to us. Also, we didn't even go to the item room yet, so that's a thing. Um, yeah, I'll go to the item room first, and then I'll go to the Curse Room. Just cause, you never know. Although, if our item room is a health up, then I am just not gonna be happy. I am not gonna be a happy person. Also, without Whore of Babylon, Eve starts out with the lowest damage output of all the characters, and that is just horrendous. Also, we got the friggin' wafer! Holy crap, that is a lucky, lucky item to get. So... All enemies, all enemies that deal a full heart of damage only deal a half heart of damage. And it is a very defensive item. It is very good to have, um, like, on the, uh, on the utero, the womb, shiol, and so on. It's a very good item to have there because all the enemies that normally do a full heart of damage will only do a half a heart. So, great start. Also, we're in the Horror of Babylon state now. What a horrible night to have a curse. Yes, a reference to... Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Obviously a, a terrible game, but nonetheless, it's a it's a great reference, in my opinion. Dingle! Dingle is the unlucky one who's going to get owned. Yeah, in this state, we're strong. Eve is good in this state. The only problem is that she's basically a glass cannon now. More so than Judas, emphasizing the, uh, the cannon part. She is stronger than Judas is starting out. But... Again, only one heart, so that's that's not very good. And we are going to be trying to trade away our red hearts and deal with the devils. Alright, Pageant Boy is not bad. Oh, considering we got two nickels, wow. We could greatly use that to our advantage in our shop. We could... Uh, actually, I do want to donate. Uh, if we do get a red heart, I will take the chance to go into that curse room, but as of right now, I do want to... Try and do this floor without taking any damage. Get to the boss ASAP. And see if I can get a deal with the devil going on. That would be amazing. Um, Smart Fly. Uh, I guess he's pretty good. Uh, I'll save that red heart for when I need it. And this room is not that bad. It's just a bunch of flies. Just a bunch of flies. And normally that would be very, very annoying. Considering, I, considering I've been dealing with a fruit fly prop problem in my house for a long time for months even like fruit flies are so annoying like 
I, I never even found the source of them. Like, that's how bad it got. I, I still don't know to this day where they came from. But, as the exterminator said, you know, there's always a source. Speaking of which, I couldn't even get an exterminator to exterminate the fruit flies. It was getting really, really bad at some points. I couldn't walk through the kitchen without being, like, buzzed with fruit flies. Like, swarmed by fruit flies. It was terrible. And no matter how hard I tried to get the exterminator in, he just wouldn't come. And it's it was terrible. I tried, like, three different exterminators, and they were all like, eh, do it yourself. You can do it. You can find the source. You can get rid of them. And I'm just like... I've been looking for months, and I have had no luck. So that's my story. We will pick up Champion Belt. Increases the challenge, but it also increases our damage, which is really good. Alright, if you accept my four coins, that'd be great. Good. There's options as appeared in the basement. A great item. Great item. Hopefully we will be able to show that off pretty soon. Yeah, there's options would probably have to be like a 9 out of 10, or an 8 out of 10, when it comes to how good the item is. Uh, yeah, we'll fight the boss. We have nowhere else to go. It's Monstro. We should be able to do this very, very easily. Uh, we've taken no damage, so hopefully the deal with the Devil Chance will come to us. That would be very, very nice. And luckily this Monstro just keeps jumping toward us. He doesn't really... Uh, I guess he's spewing his blood now. Spewing! Alright, yeah, you do that while I, uh, just kill you. Haha, -ha, I gotcha. Alright, uh, I will take the range up. Um... You know what? Oh man, this is a tough choice. Mm... I don't remember if the pact gives you spirit hearts or not. That's the only thing. You know what? I think I may opt out of this and take nothing. You guys can call me a complete idiot for this, but I'm not going to take anything. I'm not. I am instead going to go to the curse room. And I know you're probably thinking, Tim, you're such a scumbag. You're so stupid for not taking any of those deals. And you're probably screaming in the comments, Yes, yes, that item does uh, give uh, uh, Spirit Hearts the, the, the pact. And here I am just like, I don't even know. So, I'm not taking any chances. We got Guppy's Collar anyways, so... I really don't think it matters that much. But, yeah, so we got a Guppy item. That kind of makes up for it. Uh, we could have had two, but hey, whatever. Let's just go down to the next floor. Alright. With any luck, we'll get angel rooms. Yeah, if you reject deal with the devils, it increases the odds of getting an angel room. So, that's pretty cool. But we have to really, really be careful not to take any damage. Because we are in a very, very fragile position right now. We are just ready to die at any moment. Like, all it takes is for me to get surrounded, like, by... Two really persistent enemies, and then I'm dead. That's all it takes. So, yeah, gotta be careful. Alright, uh, so this maggot here is gonna die right now. There we go. I am still gonna avoid these hearts, and ooh, that's good stuff right there. Alright, well, the spirit heart is greatly appreciated, so. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the shop. I do want to go to the item room, though. Like, this key is reserved. For the item room. Alright. Uh, well, there's the boss already. But we don't really want to fight the boss just yet. I d uh, again, I do... Uh, well, actually, do I want to go fight the boss? Hmm. Well, paperclip is a, a trinket worth taking. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fight the boss. Gertie Jr. Um, with a bit of luck... We will get a either a deal with the angel or a deal with the devil, it doesn't matter. We have a spirit heart to compensate for losing the red hearts we could potentially lose with the deal with the devil. Luckily, Gertie Jr. is not that hard. You just have to watch out for his uh, little sliding attacks, which do get pretty annoying at some points, but... Hey, we beat him. It's no problem. No deal with the devil. That is very disappointing. 
and I am not going to take that health upgrade. No matter how tempting how tempting it is, I just can't take it. I can't. Well, now that we have the uh, paperclip thing, all golden chests are opened for free, and we get a dime. Wow, that is lucky. And th wow, all the keys. We're doing so good. Just from that one gold chest, it just like put us right back in the game. With consumables, anyways. Alright. So now I guess we can uh, afford to check out our shop. Samson's Chains, huh? It's not a bad item. I mean, it takes care of our bomb problem because it, it breaks rocks. I mean, we could use our bombs to find the secret rooms now. But otherwise... Oh no, what did I do? Why did I go into this room? I should I should not have gone into this room. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. <laughs> Please, thank you. You are an I found pills pill and you did not help me at all. Well, you know what they say, uh, nothing good. Alright, um... I will use a bomb here to blow up these mushrooms and we get nothing of course what a great great run we're having I mean we're doing good decent decent with damage but really not doing the best let's see if our shop has anything to offer for us the Bible seriously I'm gonna donate might as well what else do we have to do anyways nothing all right, our donation machine got jammed, so that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, if we got a blood bank or something, that would be amazing, but I really can't pick up that health upgrade, because with the damage we have without Whore of Babylon, we're going to be struggling. We're going to be really struggling, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep the low health, keep Whore of Babylon. I think that's the better route for us. Oh god, I almost... Totally got hit by that guy there. Alright, avoid the heart. Avoid the heart at all costs. Alright, there's the item room. Perfect! Oh, God. Alright, come on. Can't believe we're still not killing those little dips in one hit. Samson's chain's putting in some work, I see, huh? Man, all these red hearts. We need, like, a dark bum or something. I am sick and tired of seeing these red hearts already. Mainly because I don't want them. Are you kidding me? The butter bean. We got the butter bean. I don't know, guys. This run ain't looking very pretty right now. Uh, avoid the heart. Avoid the heart. Avoid the. Thank you. Uh, curse room. What's that gonna do? <laughs> what is that gonna do? I really have no idea. All right, we killed him. I do want to access the curse room, but the thing is, if we do, we will be very, very low on health. Very low. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, unless we could bomb our way into it, which is entirely possible, but we don't have any bombs, so... Yeah, bombing your way into something is pretty tough without any bo Oh, seriously? Okay. Well... We, we, it's, it's do or die right now. <laughs> it's do or die. We gotta make the most of this run, man. Gotta make the roast of the most, the roast of this mun. Yes. No. Oh god, that was terrible. Awful. Awful. We're gonna die. And this is why Eve is a, a little bit tricky to play as. This is exactly why. I need to go into the shop. Oh, there's a bomb. Please have a penny. No? Okay. Well, we got our key. We no longer have Whore of Babylon. Alright. Well, at least we're getting some bombs now. We have two. Um, I'll take my chances and try to bomb our way into the curse room, but I don't really want to... Well, I, I'm going to have to use the health anyways, so... Uh, there are red hearts all around, so I guess I will... Collect this one up here, and then go into the curse room. We already took red heart damage, which was very unfortunate, so... I mean, that already lowers our chances of the deal with the devil, so there's no problem there. Pills! Para paralysis? Um... 
puberty. Ah, uh, nothing good. Nothing good. Alright, we're gonna stick back in Horror of Babylon mode and... Uh, hopefully the boss is down here. There's a slot machine and a spirit heart. Oh, how lucky is that? A free spirit heart. You really can't get much luckier than that. Alright, open, open wide. Open wide. Open wide, I say. Oh, God. Yeah, I want to take out this red flame before it totally destroys me somehow. Alright, it dro Why is everything dropping red hearts? Can you please drop spirit hearts? <laughs> oh, even... Oh, oh. Oh, I'm just disgust. I am just disgust right now. Look at this! Well, let's fight Gertie. And oh, whoa, Samson's chains ju just went wild there. Holy crap, did you guys see that? Alright. Um, I'm still hoping for the deal with the devil possibility because we really need a big damage up right now. We need health badly, too. We need any DPS upgrade. Tears up, damage up, whatever. Just something that can increase our damage. Make, make these... Make this run easier. Because I am, like, a little bit on edge right now because of our low damage, comparatively. I mean, on the basement, yeah, we have high damage, but right now we are struggling just a little bit. Especially with our health. Alright, as you keep respawning those nubs, uh, I'm just gonna shoot them down and then shoot you down. Whoa! Oh, I totally got hurt. Okay. Nothing. Got Jesus Juice, which is a damage and range up. Uh, I guess that's pretty decent, but... Let's move on down to the next floor. There's nothing much else we can do. And now we are on the depths. And how much time? 15 minutes? Yeah, we're not doing boss rush either. It's kind of an impossibility at this point. And for once, the Butterbean actually did something good for me. Yeah, sometimes reusable not back can be uh, pretty good. With enemies like those anyways, but the, overall the Butterbean is like a, a 1 out of 10 item. Do not recommend. Goathead is amazing for us. Very amazing. I am very, very thankful I picked that up. Uh, now we just shouldn't lose our spirit heart. <laughs> Otherwise we will enter some form of regret. Alright, these enemies are very annoying. Oh god, oh... Oh, uh, we could potentially enter our curse room via secret room. And I love it when those enemies just kill themselves. Okay. Please. 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 Ugh, you're killing me, game. You're killing me. Alright. We have to improvise. And we are definitely not getting that bomb or that penny. Wait, what else was in there? Battery? Yeah, we don't need the battery. Especially considering the Butterbean is uh, automatically recharging at all times, so... Okay. You must perish. And... Luckily... This floor hasn't been giving me a lot of trouble just yet. Oh, man. I am just... So nervous. Oh, jeez. Ugh. I'm, like, trying to concentrate, but at the same time, like, trying to commentate. It's hard, man. It's hard. Alright, we did it. Okay. Item room. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and there's a tinted rock, too. That's amazing for us. I refuse to pick up that. Oh. Oh, we didn't even have to use a bomb. Thanks to that nub there. Alright, we got a spirit heart, which is very, very nice. Golden key? Very good. Sad bombs is a pretty decent item. Pretty decent. The better the tier effects we have, the more useful sad bombs will be to us. It's kind of like the bomb version of Tammy's head, so... Put that into perspective. Um, we're gonna go back up here and use a key to get this tarot card here. It's the lovers. We are definitely not going to use that. Considering we do not want red hearts. And we are going to find our boss room now. Alright. This is... This could get out of hand. Yeah. Okay. Please. Please. Thank you. There we go. 
We lost half a spirit heart, but I mean, I I'm still thankful we got the wafer. Okay, we're dying now. We, we are not doing very good. <laughs> Oh, man, where did my life go wrong? All right, I will use that, uh, that diamond, two of diamonds card. Not that it'll do much for us. Oh, man, we are, we're dead. We can't live this. It'll take a miracle for us to survive. All right, this shouldn't be so bad. I really, really, really wish we can get into that. Oh god. Oh, I hate those skeleton things. They like snipe you. Oh, come on. All right, we took one of them out. I really need to get into that shop. Oh, just a regular heart? Are you kidding me? I got to take it. I don't want to die. I will take the broken watch, though. But I, I, I don't want to die. I need to take the heart. Samson's chains. Please do work on those skulls. Fool card. We don't need that. I should have been breaking the skulls before. What was I thinking? There we go. And now our damage is terrible. But you know what? We're going to have to live with it. It's better to be safe than sorry. And unfortunately for us, the shop was kind of mediocre, so. Alright. War, huh? I mean, no matter what, we're gonna get a deal with the devil, but... Man, this 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 floor has been awful to us. You know what? I'm half tempted to get hurt. I'm gonna get hurt. Just because I do want to, uh... Have that revenge fly damage and the dead bird damage. Yeah. That's doing good for us. But that's like the boat, the most damage we're going to have for a while. Oh, well, actually, we're back in Horror of Babylon, so that's not bad. Alright, now we just have to not screw up. Alright, good. Thanks, guys. That was very much appreciated. Alright, so now I will bomb the hell out of this rock. Get these spirit hearts, which we so desperately needed. Oh, my God. I love you, game. I love you! We got the Book of Belial. That is crazy good for us. Crazy good. Now we are permanently in Whore of Babylon. We've got a damage up. A temporary one at that. And we got two black hearts from that deal with the devil. I couldn't have asked for a better deal with the devil, to be quite honest. I mean, in this situation, yeah, that was really, really good and really, really clutch. No, it does not win us the run, but it keeps us alive for a little bit longer. And that's really all we needed right now. Hopefully we can get more better items, like, on this floor, please. I would very much appreciate it. Oh, man. So close to getting hit there. But until then, we're going to be grinding it out here. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I am prepared to use the Book of Belial at any moment. And these enemies are quite annoying. I hate when they, like, teleport. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying. Alright. Let's take care of these things. Good. And we gotta watch out. Oh, God. Mom's hands. Alright. Yeah, you, you come down from the ceiling and uh, try and hit me with all you got. Oh, this is a slow room. That's cool. Alright, yeah, the broken stopwatch, sometimes it'll do slow rooms, but sometimes it'll also do fast rooms, and you gotta be careful for the, the fast rooms. Oh my god. Infestation 2, that's really good for us. Very good for us. I'd rank Infestation 2 as like a, a 7, 7.5 out of 10. It's a really good item, because it ensures that we get bugs. Oh god, okay, I thought we were gonna get hit there. But, um, yeah, it's, I think it's really good for us. Also, again, a slow room, which really helps us out a lot. Alright, broken stopwatch ended up being pretty good for us right here. Hopefully we can keep this going. We've got a good rhythm going, that's really good. And yes, I am Shulk. I am Shulk. 
I have the Monado's power! I am a Monado boy, hear me roar. Oh, and while those guys make out... <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Alright, I don't have to be afraid of using Book of Belial now, but uh, I'm not going to because I'm a scrub. Alright. Let's... Alright, there we go. Thank you very much for doing that. Skull must break. Alright. Alright, good. Alright, we got a death card. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking I use that on the next room. Just... Free room clear. There we go. Uh, that didn't really do much of anything, actually, but... I guess I can't complain. Relying on cards is not the best thing. To all you magic players out there. No, I'm just kidding. Truthfully, I play a lot of card games myself. Including magic. Including Pokemon. Oh, that was terrible. What are you doing with your life, man? Alright, we don't really need the shop. Um, yeah, okay. We're just gonna go fight Mom. Use the Book of Belial here, and we are doing some pretty decent damage. Not the best. Definitely not the best, but it, it it's enough to get by. Definitely enough to get by. And I just realized that now that we have the uh, Chariot card, we can put our cube of meat to uh, good use with our invincibility. So... That is a, a viable strategy for future... Whoa, I didn't even see Mom's foot coming. Alright, so also we're definitely not doing boss rush, so... That's uh, impossibility. We are... I'm pretty sure we're past 20 minutes. And even so, we're not strong enough. We're not nearly as strong as we, we should be for boss rush. Whoa! Alright, she's almost dead. And I'm very happy I got the wafer because it's going to save our butts on the womb. Or the utero. I don't even know the official name. Oh, God. Oh, that took care of that for us. Uh, let's take the negative, which will appear after every mom fight. And, oh, man, a Krampus fight, really? I mean, we took him out really easily, and we got Lump of Coal, but, man, it's kind of a disappointment there. All right. Well, at least we got a, a small damage up at the very least in the form of Lump of Coal, but that's about it. Okay, now we're in the utero. Alright, it's the utero, not the womb. We're at 24 minutes. Not the best time, but it'll do, I guess. Uh, lump of Coal is helping us out there. Yeah, let's, let's, alright, good. Good, good, good. We got away from Polycephalus. Alright, let's kill these, uh, brimstone laser dudes. Spiders, wall spiders, whatever you want to call them. Well, we gotta be really careful with, uh, Samson's, Samson's chain here. Ball and chain, whatever. Cause it could screw us over if we break too many of those rocks. Cause some of them have a chance of throwing out, a uh, blood, those, uh, blood ball, whatever, projectiles. And it's dangerous. Alright. Whoa, I almost got hit there. That was almost bad. Oh god, I did get hit there. That was bad. I love when the enemies kill their each other. It's awesome. Alright, Loki. This will not be a hard fight. If I could find another chariot card, that would be great. But I doubt that is going to happen. Alright. Hopefully, our deal with the devil will be good. <laughs> I really, really hope it'll be good. Oh, I'm just- I'm counting on, like, a godsend right here. Literally a godsend. Please. Loki, please. Loki's horns has appeared in the basement, that's pretty good. Uh, range up, that's good for our lump of coal. Brother Bobby. That is a very disappointing last deal, and I am not going to take it. Let's go down to the next floor. Oh, well, it looks like this is going to be a long one, guys. A very long one. Hopefully I survive. Alright, good. Alright, we do have to beat that other enemy first. Come on! Just die already! Like Chris Redfield from uh, Resident Evil 5. JUST DIE ALREADY! Eternal Heart. I do not want to pick that up. That will instantly ruin our, uh, 
or a uh, Horror of Babylon State, and that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh man, we're down to our last three hearts. I don't know how we're doing this right now. I don't know how we're going to do this either. Oh man. All right. Well, we did that. No, I'm not gonna take the chance and break those things. Ooh, okay. I'm so happy I juked him out. Oh man, the skill is not there. Oh god. Oh, come on. That was terrible. We totally went the wrong way. Oh, this is an awful room. This is an awful room. We are gonna... Our lives are gonna end here. Ugh. Is it wrong for me to be disgusted? Because I really am. Like, what are the odds we're gonna win this run now? Not very good. Not very good at all. Considering we went the complete wrong way to get to the boss. We're still going the wrong... Oh god, this is a fast room. Oh god. Yeah, very rarely that fast room will come and bite you in the butt. And you will not expect it. Oh god! Oh! Uh, okay. Okay, catch your breath. Catch your breath. We might die. Okay, that was good. Not worth it. Uh... Good thing it's a slow room. I am just... Ch I'm choking. <laughs> I'm choking. We need a tinted rock. We need a spirit heart. We need any form of health. We need it badly. Anything? There's a tinted rock. There's a tinted rock. Okay, good. Good. Oh, spirit heart. Oh. Okay, I am a little bit more relaxed, but still not that relaxed. We're still very, very low on health, and we could still very well die here. Okay. Luckily, that gurgling wasn't that bad. Alright. Be careful here, we don't want to hit these things. Alright, this is a slow room with pin? Yes, pin. Two pins. But pin... Oh, really? You kidding me right now? Oh, don't let the spirit heart go to waste. Don't let it go to waste. You can do this! You can do this! You can make this run happen! Okay. This way's the wrong way, but luckily there was nothing of uh, trouble in this room, so... I guess we got a little bit of a lucky break there. I'm gonna look for the secret room. Please be here. It was there. Bombs. And a lot of flies. I don't know why we got... Uh, sorry, spiders. I don't know why we got so many spiders from that, but... I ain't complaining. Alright. These guys are pretty easy. Good. Alright, let's go and fight... Mom's heart. And there's uh, Samson's chains going crazy again. Oh, also, it's a slow room. We got lucky with that one. We got really lucky with that one. So now this fight is basically going to be really, really easy just because this is a slow room. Like, there's no way we can lose this fight. We just gotta continue to be careful, I guess. Oh god, no, this is no 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 Oh god Holy crap I'm not gonna go fight Stan That's the end of this run That is the end of this run Experimental treatment has appeared in the basement Thank you all very very much for watching and thank you for dealing with me on this run as I struggled but we did it in the end uh, I know I kind of chickened out of fighting Stan, but there was really nothing else I could do, so... Yeah, again, thank you all very, very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next part. Please leave some feedback in the comments below, and remember to uh, like and subscribe if you liked this video. Peace out, everybody!